Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Octopath Traveler 2. Last time we left off, we saw how Casti and Ochet interact together. Um, I went ahead and took the liberty of staying at the inn, and I already know where I want to go next. So we're going to be starting People's Chapter 3 soon, because Oswald's is just level 18, um, Agnea's is level 20. Um, but we do still have Particio's Chapter 2 and Throne, the rest of Throne's Chapter 2 to do. So let's head back over to Winterbloom. Um, we have been over here before because there was the scent of, uh, commerce thing that we did over here. And I think we did something else, but it's escaping me. Well, we did this, but, um, I forget the other thing we did over here. But there's more to do in this place. Um, it seems like I haven't, uh, entreated with Agnea on a lot of these characters before. So, I think I will go grab Agnea, and we'll we'll take care of that really quickly, because uh, I would like to grab as many items as I can. Alrighty, so, um, this poor townsperson had a uh, refreshing jam that I wanted. Agnea wouldn't have been able to request this until she was level 50, so I was like, let's just go ahead and grab it now. There we go. So, there was a character over here that I wanted to beat up, um, because they had a fortifying nut and a soldier spear. Um, I wanted that fortifying nut mostly. Also, here's what we've, uh, what we've got so far. Um, spearing plum, energizing pomegranate, and hairbrush, fire, soul stone, jerky, a mage wand, nothing too crazy, but, uh, the soldier spear might be useful at some point. Might even be useful now. I could give it to Particio. He'd just lose some accuracy, but he'd gain speed and physical attack. Yeah, Particio's probably gonna have that. Massively increases physical attack. Um, that sounds good for Ochet. I do like Ochet being a very, very powerful physical attacker. Um, so let's go ahead and give you... The Soldier Spear, I think. Yeah, currently you have the Master Harpoon. I'd rather you have that. Alright. I believe we are good. I think that's everything I wanted to grab. I don't even really think I got anything else. Yeah, from since that last one, I did not. So we can go uh, toss Agnea back in the bar here. And we can get Casty back out. Because Casty still needs to level up. Um, so, here we go. We'll stick with this squad for now. And continue on our merry way. We have to start a new chapter, though. Hear a tale, the Winterbloom route, or Father's- no, 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 Father's route, whoopsie. Throne promised to meet Father in the town of Winterbloom. To win her freedom from the Black Snakes, she must kill him and retrieve one of the keys to her collar. Oh, shit, yeah, that- yeah, I, I would need Throne in the party for that, huh? Bye, Ochet. There we go. <laughs> Forgot I had Ochet in the party still. Sounds good to me. I'm down. All right, let's hear some travel banter, why don't we? Now to find that tavern. Father set a trap for me there, without a doubt. I've known him for a long time. I can't imagine he'd pass up the opportunity. Are you ready, Oswald? You're rather quiet today, Professor. Scold. <laughs> he said the thing. <laughs> oh, Oswald. You delightful, delightful dork, you. Alright, so we're good there. We've already done most of the stuff in town. Um, there's a few- I could probably steal some stuff from characters. Um, if I wanted the characters that have, like, really, really good things, but... Um, it's... okay, I'll take an Olive of Life. What did you- what do you have that I haven't stolen yet? A Knight's Great Boat? Sure. Give me that, please. We got rules for a reason. Oh, my reputation in Winter Bloom has suffered! It's fine, we... We need to restore our reputation anyway. 4,500, that's fine. Don't even really know that I needed that Great Bow, but, um... I might as well try to steal it. You know? It's good selling fodder and stuff. God, these 55% chances, I always fail them about a billion times. Here we go. Uh, you're good. I have everything from that character. What about you? Horned Helm? That's that, no, that 8% chance I'm not, I'm not messing with. Alrighty, well, uh, I think that's probably all the characters we'll try to steal stuff from. Wait, wait, kid. Ooh, rare stones. Give me. Thank you. 
There's a couple of characters that just aren't out during the times that, uh, Agni is out. Um, I'll take these two. I don't need the wheat bread. You can keep that, kid. Okay. So, yep, let's go ahead and move over here, then. The Thieves' Quarter. Oh, and there's just... I don't know that I've been down here before. Oh god, I feel a sneeze. Yeah, I've never been down here before. Interesting. Old cloth. Lone bandit whose face betrays not even a hint of emotion. He'll do quite literally anything if the price is right. He uses nearly all the money he earns to look after stray dogs and cats he's taken in. That was oh. Okay, you're alright. You're alright, friend. What are you doing? Hey, what's up? Uh... Give me those two things. A bandit waiting for someone. Exactly one year ago, he invested a pile of leaves into a fellow bandit's scheme that was guaranteed to produce untold riches. Now he's left waiting for someone who seems increasingly unlikely to appear and wonders, is it worse to deceive or be deceived? <laughs> yeah, friend, you got scammed. He's not here. Well, well, look who showed up. You really are a beauty. Uh. Hmm? My thoughts exactly, Throne. Why don't you come have some fun with us? Okay, well, you're gonna- you're gonna catch this knife between the ribs. I don't have time to play with children. <laughs> How about you take a look around? There's three of us, and only one of you. <sighs> I have a crazy powerful mage scholar. I have a very, very murderous apothecary. And I have a happy-go-lucky merchant that's not afraid to stab you for some coin. Dude, I, I, I count more of us, actually. Besides, we were told we could have our way with you. I was afraid that's where this was going. Wow, well, Father, you're a piece of shit. So be a good girl and we'll make it worth your while. <laughs> Ew. Disgusting. I've had more than I can stand of these brats. Time to put them to bed. Indeed. They are very, very annoying. Ambush the three men, you pieces of shit. Bye bye. Good night. So long. Good night. You're lucky you're not getting a knife between the ribs. Let's Good night. let's just say that. Just a little stabbing as a treat. <laughs> <laughs> well done, my girl. Why did you tell these three people they could rape me? Father. Was it a test? If so, that's a fucked up one. But it's to be expected from you, I suppose. Neither dead nor alive, robbed only of their movement. <laughs> it takes an experienced hand to perform a feat like that. Thank you. Children these days are so simple. A few leaves is all it takes to win someone's obedience. I told them a beautiful woman would be visiting, and that they could take whatever liberties they wanted with her. I'm sure they're dreaming of you as we speak. <laughs> oh, don't look so cross, girl. I was only joking. <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. Enough. Yeah. I deal with your antics every time we work together. But you've grown because of it. You're the best in the nest now. 
I take it you finished the last job then. Was that also meant as a joke? You mean tricking my children into killing each other? <laughs> I told you, didn't I? I want you to be my successor. Once we finish this job, the throne's all yours. The throne for throne, eh? I don't want it. I came here to kill you. I will find an opening. I must. Time to get to work. I'll tell you more when we get there. Come find me when you're ready. I'll be waiting on the eastern side of town. Understood. Yeah, finding an opening on this asshole is going to be pretty rough. More travel banter. I guess fathers are the same everywhere. Always pushing their children to do the impossible. Your father too. When I was a chickadee, we got our hands on this humongous melon. Pops wanted to share it with the neighbors, so he told me to cut it into eight pieces. He said if any of them were as even a seed heavier, it was no good. I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, Particio. I don't think your particular circumstances with your father are very similar to Throne's. <laughs> I think this comparison is a little far-fetched. He gave me an earful when I said it wasn't possible. Said we had to be fair, or else the neighbors would be unhappy can imagine people fight over treasure all the time. Made me sad thinking of people squabbling over something small like that. But I got at each of them their own giant melon. Impressive. Eh, neighbors were grinning from ear to ear. But I'd used up a bundle of leaves in the process. So we were stuck eating stir-fried veggies for days. In the end, I got myself another earful from Pops. Should have seen that coming. Yeah, I mean, your father didn't encourage three men to rape you, so, um, I think our circumstances are a wee bit different here, friend. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, what do we got here in the shop? Alright, um, a bandit encamped beside the armorer. He sells stolen goods and claims to be a connoisseur, but his suspicious pricing gives him away as a completely self-taught businessman. The arms merchant next door is actually his half-brother. Thank you. Okay, what can I steal from you? Ooh. Tattered sacred shield for armor. Give me. What do you sell? Anything crazy? Falcon coat? Sounds interesting, but it's not as strong as what I would like. There's that silver hair piece that I have on Oswald. Um, oh, there's that horned helm I could buy. That's, uh... Pretty good. For, like, Throne, for example. Let's give that to Throne. Um, Particio loses some SP. But, you know, I do think I want that. Who else has one of these equipped? Or did I just have a spare one in the inventory? Oh, Casty has it equipped, yeah. Here we go. It's right in front of my face. Uh, loss of speed, increased physical defense, though. Eh. Alright, I think I'm good. I think I'm good there. So. Let's go ahead and get out of here. And there isn't actually anybody in there. No. A wakeful stone. I'm guessing this just prevents sleep. Wakeful stone prevents sleep. Yep. Okay. I mean, status effects... Like, items that stop status effects like that are always a good thing to have. Thank you. I would like that gold pocket watch. 28% chance to scrutinize. What's the Ooh, first try. There we go. A thief who earns his living entirely from pickpocketing, which has no small amount has earned no small amount of scorn from his fellow bandits. Though his name once struck fear into the hearts of many, he stopped taking dangerous jobs after a particularly fraught heist. Hmm. Thieving tips and tricks. Greater chance of success when stealing items. Okay. How about this? Wow, uh, still not stealing that old cloth. I got everything from you already, didn't I? There was a character over here that had, like, a pretty good item that I wanted to steal. 
Or I thought there was a character. Hmm. Alright, well, let's just, um, mug you. Uh, hmm. Never mind, actually. Never mind, you, you seem quite strong. How about you just go to sleep? Here you go. Does this smell like chloroform to you? Bye bye. <laughs> Hello. The young girl who's lost her voice and has no way of talking about her past. Nevertheless, the beaming smile on her face tells you that her current life, even though she cannot speak, is far better than what came before. A lockpick? Oh, slim chance to reduce the- Okay. Hold the phone. That's a good dagger. I think we might need to buy that. Gimme. Holy. That is a good dagger. That cost me a lot of money, but oh my god. Look at this thing. Holy shit. Okay, there you go. Enjoy your lockpick. Throne A. By the way, who needs, uh... Oh, yeah, I could get the final skill for you. Ooh, wait, you have something. Uh, restores the equipping character's SP when breaking a foe. Uh, sure, replenish health. Just immunity to enfeebling effects for three turns at the start of battle. That's an interesting one. Not the greatest, though, I feel. Okay, inspiriting break. Additional JP. Ever evasive. Yeah, I don't I don't feel like you need that really. Anybody else can learn some new stuff? Particio can learn additional XP after battles. Raises the number of times the equipping spare characters uh, can use more intense spells by one. Um hmm. Completely fills the equipping character's latent power gauge at the start of battle? Oh my god. Uh let's give you um Let's see. Currently you have what support skills equipped? Where's the equipping characters? I mean this is just completely useless once you once you get the thing that uh was just talked about. Like this could just go off, because if you just start the battle with Hoot and Holler. That's insane. So we won't even need boost start soon. Um, you have extra XP. So we don't need that. Hmm. Okay, we'll just we'll just hold off on those things for now. Well, that was a good get. There you are. As I expected, no openings, even from behind. But Father is sure to let us guard down sometime. The moment he strikes the killing blow on his target. No matter how skilled the assassin, they haven't a thought to spare on anything else at that moment. That's my opening. That's when I will kill Father. I don't know if this is going to work out how you think, Throne. Why have we come here? To see the snow hat. They're a thieves guild that call this town home. They used to be on good terms with the Black Snakes, but they've been encroaching on our territory lately. Death to traitors. Precisely. There's one sentry at the entrance. Our job is to infiltrate the hideout and eliminate the leader of the Snow Hairs. You will take the lead, Throne. I will provide support. Support? Father and I have worked countless jobs together. But he was always the one to deliver the final blow. We both knew that his dagger wouldn't miss. What is he thinking? Could he have seen through my plan? What's the matter, Throne? Or he intends to get rid of us, maybe. This is no more than a test to see what you're truly capable of. Uh, this is... unexpected. Now I have to do the job and wait for another chance. Understood, Father. 
Do you remember our first job, Throne? Why? I want to know if you've grown used to the smell of blood. I'll be back. All right. Let me just loot this treasure that's in the graveyard here. And then we will proceed forward. Hello. Got to ambush you. Good night. I like I don't know really know if it's an ambush if I just walk right up to them and hit them in the back of the head, but killing him would be safer. Corpses don't come after you. Yeah, that's always the dilemma when playing a stealth game. Do you put them to sleep or do you kill you? Do you kill them? But I refuse to spill blood unless I must. I hate the way it makes me feel. I wonder when it all began. When did my hands begin to waver? Please, don't kill me! Go on, give it a try. I can't do it. You're still young and naive, Throne. You're wasting your sympathy. He's the worst sort of scum there is. <sighs> Come now, Throne. Once you kill him, you'll understand. You'll see how intoxicated the smell of blood can be. Oh, it sounds like our our dumpster's being emptied outside. <laughs> if you hear any loud bangs. Soon enough. You'll want to spread it on your bread like butter. Ew! I'd rather have raspberries. <laughs> but of course. Everyone is born with a gift. The gods bestow us all with the job only we can do. It is our fate. Your gift was wielding a dagger, Throne. If you want to live, you must learn to kill. <laughs> Very good. Just as I expected. How was it, my dear? The smell of blood. I hate it. That's a messed up thing to have a kid do. But you're all about making your kids do Ever messed up things. Then, I killed just the way father taught me. I can't remember how many lives I've taken. My hands are forever tainted with a stench of blood. But soon, soon I will put this life behind me. Alright, sounds good. Find the snow hare's boss. Is there anything hiding back here? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, we have a dungeon to enter, which seems like it's through that door. Anything up here, though? Nothing? No characters or anything hanging out? Alright. I do like the different versions of the songs that play, whether it's night or day. It's always such a nice feature. You there. Please, please. Please help me. If you don't, they'll sell me away. Uh -huh. I heard a rumor. They say the snow hairs kidnap girls for trade ah they're in the uh they're in the human trafficking business okay my dagger is ready to go please help me
I will help you, but after my job here is done. Sit tight. Thank you. You're a kind woman. Now, to find out who's behind all this. Yeah, we got an ass to kick. Or stab, rather. Hello. I can't inquire with you. Woman being held captive by the snow hairs. After her family was killed, she was taken to their hideout to be sold off. She contemplated death in her despair, but found a glimmer of hope after meeting Therone. Ugh. That was very... Contemplating death because you see no way out of this. That's horrible. I'm glad we're here to help you. Would be nice if we could just go ahead and free you now, but... Must be purged. I guess My I understand Therone's logic. She doesn't want to, like, tip them off, basically. Um, they're ready, so... Are you possibly weak to daggers? No. Um, how about an arrow of fortune? They are weak to arrows. Chop? No? Okay, well they are weak to lightning, so they're just gonna die now. Bye-bye. Alrighty. Pretty easy little, uh... Little battle there. Um, is this where I'm supposed to go? I think this is where I'm supposed to go. I should take this other path up here. It's probably gonna be a pretty short dungeon. Most of the dungeons in this seem like they're pretty short. What the hell is that? A curator. If you say so. Um, let's go ahead and just use a uh, luminescence here. You're dead. Uh, Arrow of Fortune. Time to divvy up the earnings. Only 3 JP, unfortunately, but it's something. Down we go. Okay, nothing that away. But... I was about to say, is there really nothing here? Where does this take me? There was a treasure chest up there. Where does this get me? All the way over here? Oh, to this. Spiriting Plum? How do I get to that treasure chest back there, though? That's what I want. 14 JP. Thank you very much. Um, they are weak to Sword. And then we can just hit them with a Lightning Bolt. Bye-bye. Good stuff. So, if we run over here... What exactly does this connect me to? Nothing interesting. Hmm. There was a treasure chest up there I wanted to see if I could access. Okay, that leads to the boss fight. To clean up the filth. Absolutely. What? Hello, what are you doing down here? This. Look at these well. dorks. Okay. Attack the snow yak twice. Working hard as ever. And these two will probably just die to a fireball. Bye-bye. Yeah. Nice. Some level ups for us. At least we got that. Okay, so yeah, I want to see how to get that item up there. I imagine it's... It's got to be from that, right? Yeah, so I need to get back down there and just take that path this time instead of going up like I did before. Time to clean up the filth. Hello. What to do? Wow, you're not weak to any sort of magic. Interesting. Big 14 JP there. And you actually got an attack off. Study harder. Dead. Death by bonk. All right, so down, and then this this time go down, like so. And I need to access that right there, which I might be able to do by going down this way first. Oh, oh there's also this treasure. Shadow Soulstone in. Yeah, we go here maybe, and then go up here and go under this. I surprised my foe. These are new enemies. Shrewd fossilized fish. It's a relicant. 
Yeah, that's enough to kill you. Only one JP. Though. It's fine. Okay, so can we like go under this? I cannot. How do I access that area? Right there. That's just, that's where I want to go. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how to get in there. Because I feel like that's where I need to go to... I thought it was going to be under that, but no. Hmm. Okay, that's going to bother me. Because there's a, there's a gold chest up there. Which usually hold pretty damn good things. But I see no good way to... get up there. My next patient. My all right, well, let's just take these idiots out really quickly, and then we'll see what we can do. I'll probably just skip until we get um, what I want. So, because we've seen uh, enough of these fights, basically. So, all right. Treasure chest, it's just you and me. Never mind. I I could have sworn I tried that. How did I miss it? How in the world did I miss that? <laughs> I was I was I thought I had rubbed against that wall and it didn't let me go. Never mind. Apparently I'm just a dummy. False alarm. I could have sworn I rubbed myself against that wall. Oh well. Um, let's steal. You got anything interesting? I was unable to steal anything. Great. All right, well, Oswald, just go ahead and kill. Great, there we go. These poor enemies never stood a chance. Which is funny, because that's what Oswald says. An empowering bracelet. Powering ring someone currently has. So the bracelet's probably better. Yes, it is. Just more HP. Okay, you can take that. Um, we still have the speed and evasion. Um, you have evasion and a dark amulet? Why don't you take the protective bracelet? That's probably better than what you're currently rocking, right? Just less dark damage? It doesn't even really tell me how much it reduces um, the uh, various elemental damage. I hate when they don't give you a number. Give me a number, damn it. Alright, so let's go up here. We've We've got what we need now. <laughs> I, I really thought I had hit that that spot up, but apparently not. Dire Ash Raven. Um, you can just die to that. Well, insight. At least we get a lot of money from these dorks. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and save over that. And go fight our boss. Who are you? And what are you doing here? I'm here to kill you. I've come to clean up the filth. That tattoo. You're one of the black snakes. I take it you've come to talk about our little territory issue. <sighs> I don't think we've come to talk, per se. The black snakes have long been our allies. But the snow hairs. We're capricious creatures. Well, snakes eat bunnies, so... The snakes have grown old. They're not as tough as they used to be. The fact that they've sent a weak little girl like you just proves it. Enough talk. Why not see how weak this little girl is for yourself? I accept your challenge. I'm through with you, Yuki. I've set my sights on stronger allies. The death of the Black Snakes is nigh. You're dual wielding. Oh, you have claws. That's cool. You're protected by the thieves. Alright, well, we will be doing a quick murder on them then. Let's go ahead and just lightning bolt them. Strike them. Yeah. Big damage. 
Alrighty, so I probably want to go ahead and steal from you as soon as I get the opportunity, basically. Um, raise my speed. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Bring it on. So you're super, super fast. Um, merchant skills. I could Arrow of Fortune. Mm. I do need to collect as well. But we should hold off on that. Let's just uh, fish for some weaknesses here. Um, pop carry, healing touch, sleeping, drastic measures. Let's, uh, what can we make? Negative status effects. Mix of random, slightly negative status effect. Wind based damage, light based damage. S reduces speed and evasion, puts to sleep. Lines target. I think I basically want to get negative status effects on the boss at some point. Single foe and poison them for two turns. Make a single foe weak to poison. Let's do that. There we go. <laughs> Looks beautiful to me. Ready. Augmenting needle. So that increases your elemental damage resistance. Uh, that's only three, so. Let's, uh, shackle you, or let's armor corrosive you. There we go. And we'll drastic measures you in a minute. Uh, let's go ahead and just, uh, you actually have enough to collect like I would like to. 1,500. That's not a ton, but I'll take it. All right, we're getting hurt here. Let's, uh, healing touch, eh, dancer skills, stimulate, dagger dance, dagger attack on all foes. I think I'm gonna have Oswald heal us, actually. So, let's just go ahead and do one of those. No. Sounds like my alarm is going off. There we go. I woke up early today, so... Uh, cleric skills. Prayer to the flame. Uh-oh. Heal wounds cost 15. Okay. Let's, uh, we have a lot of healing grape bunches. Actually, you don't, we don't even need that. We can just use a regular Here's healing grape. For me. There we go. Okay, I do need to restore some, uh, SP. Over here. Let's go ahead and have you steal. Thanks. Olive of Life Large. Alright. Oswald. Um, you do have enough for a strong lightning bolt. Strike that shot is broken. There we go. Broke those two. And what do I want to do with you, Particio? You can hoot and holler. And we could have you. I need to try hired help sometime. Uh Hired help. How much does it cost? Guard Beastling Veteran Soldier. Staff attacks. Raise the elemental attack of all allies and restore their SP. I don't like spending the money for that though, but the, it's good to see what my options are here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, okay, so let us grant 4 BP to a single ally. That could be good on Oswald. Go ahead and do that. Thank you. Now, uh, how much HP do they have? They are weak to daggers. Let's do. Um, I could dagger dance. That might kill them. There we go. You're defenseless. Ready. All right. So now let's start getting some more debuffs on them. Uh, let's see here. So, let's go ahead and Armor Corrosive. And get an extra attack there. Is there anything you can do to debuff? Iron Hell, Analyze. Let's just, um... Advanced Magic, Oswald. And Casty, I think I'm just gonna have you do, like... Some basic attack. Actually, you can Peacock Strut, Oswald. Thinking time. There we go. Now, Oswald, you need some of this. this so, go ahead and take one of those. Triple sting. 
That kind of hurt. Okay, so... Bernay, go ahead and start breaking this idiot. I'm just getting warmed up. And... Let's see, what else do I want to do with you? Oswald has plenty of uh, MP and stuff. Casty... Could heal us all. Just drop a healing grape bunch. We have plenty of these things. Thinking time. All right, Oswald. Um, let's reveal two weak points on you. There we go. So fire is what we want. Okay, hazardous concoction. Let's do that. A random, slightly negative, reduces speed and evasion for one turn. Uh, reduces critical rate. Fumbling flower puts target to sleep. Stin status ailment duration. Lines target. Let's do this. There we go. Uh, so you're blinded. Your ac your crit rate is down and your accuracy is down, which is what we want. Anything uh, else I could do here that would be useful? I could just arrow a fortune you. Yeah, or I could just attack you twice. Let's just attack you twice to go ahead and break you. Oh, I missed. Damn it. Okay, throw A then. Just attack one more time. Good. And let's go ahead and have you use your drastic measures. That sounds good to me. 6,000. That's pretty good. And Oswald, you have all of the boosted things. Let's firestorm this idiot. Reduce them to ash. There we go. Study harder. The combo of Casty and Oswald is just terrifying. They're both so strong. It appears your own end is nigh. Whoops, didn't mean to press that button. Please, spare me. I'll do anything you ask. Spare you like you spared the poor woman you have chained up at the front? Oh, I'll even lick your shoes. Okay, weirdo. And not just the top. I'll lick the bottom, too. Yes, gladly. Okay, that's just your kink. That's not even a punishment. You disgust me. No! Please, spare me! Sorry. Don't take it personally. Ooh. Yep. There it is. There's father. I knew it. You were using this as an opportunity to get me. How did you not see this coming, Throne? Skilled assassin is vulnerable the moment he strikes a killing blow. Damn it. Isn't that right, Throne? Yep. Father. Don't worry, you'll live. I didn't hit any vitals. You upheld my teachings well, child. But that won't be enough to kill me. So you knew. Of course I did. I'm your father, after all. I can see through all your schemes. You would be dead now had I wanted that. <sighs> Help! <laughs> Look at this little shit. Silence her. What did I do wrong, Throne? I wonder. I cared for you more than any of my other children. I'm tired of this life. I want to leave the Black Snakes. And to do so, I must kill you. I see. <laughs> Oh, Throne, you truly are my daughter. When you're ready, come to Montwise. I'll be waiting for you there. Then we can put an end to all of this. Even move. 
Yep, the thing that the villain does, where it's like, I could have killed you, but I chose not to, because I'm just that confident in my abilities. Are you gone? She's gone. I was too late. Damn it, Throne, this is why I wanted to release her at the beginning. Father never let his guard down. Not once. I don't know if I can defeat him head on. But I have to try. Montwise. That's where he'll be. I must go there. If I'm ever to be free. You're gonna be free, gal. Don't worry. We're gonna get you there. Throne fails to strike down her mark, and when the snake's game of deception ends, Father emerges as the victor. He reveals he knew Throne's intentions from the start, and so she steals herself for an arduous journey towards freedom. Throne the Thief, Chapter 2, Father's Route, end! Well, there we go! Beautiful, beautiful! All right. Well then. Hello. Do you have anything I want to steal? Uh, I'll be taking that. Thank you. Appreciate it. And I don't want your wheat bread, kid. I've already stolen everything from you. What do you have? Spirting plum basket. I'll be taking that. Oh, thank you. All right. So yeah, we've gotten a uh, pretty good amount of stuff done today. We do need to go see the rest of the travel banter. So, um, let's look right here. Dancing together. Hey, Throne, would you like to dance with me? Might cheer you up? Sorry, but I'm not in the mood for that right now. I see. Guess I'll just have to dance enough through both of us. One, two, three. I, okay, that's what I accidentally did during that cutscene. I accidentally sped up the dialogue so it auto proceeds. <laughs> just watching you dance makes me feel better. I think I'll join you. Oh, nay. Here we go. Yeah, so that's what I accidentally did when I pressed RB there. Um, alright. Dangerous environment and taking a life, I think, are the only new ones. Quiet man, slaver's nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, dangerous environment and taking a life. Huh. <sighs> Something wrong. It's not often I hear you sigh. I was just thinking about how very dangerous your journey is. This is my everyday detective. I'm beginning to understand where that indom indomitability of yours comes from. Did you say something? But at the very least, the villains around you look perfectly villainous. It's almost refreshing. Why, thank you. Around me, most villains tend to pose as saints. Of course they do. There's evil everywhere you go in the world. I suppose we think that because villains tend to gather around good people. Huh. You mean to say that I am a good person? One disguised as a villain, yes. Continue to love Timonos. Hey, Throne. Why do you kill things you can't eat? I never really thought about it. Did it because it was my job. But now, I do it for freedom. Freedom? Is that tasty? Can't say. I do know that captivity isn't, though. Everyone is bound by something, whether it be parents, superiors, family, or their tribe. The way I see it, we're all wearing collars. Really? Do I have one? No, you don't. Oh, I wanted one too. Set yourself lucky, Ochet. <laughs> Ochet's just so naive and adorable. Uh, okay, so let's see. What do I want here? What is this? Receive additional EXP and JP uh, after battles at night. Yes, please. Got a new support skill. Thank you. An Aver's Reckoning. Make a powerful dagger attack on all foes. The greater your speed, the more potent the attack. Okay, so this is like Godspeed Strike, except it hits all enemies. That's a good one. That's a good one. It's basically Godspeed Strike, except it hits all enemies. So, that's good. Um, and we are definitely putting Life in the Shadows on. Um, don't think there's anything else I want to grab. So, let's put that on. Bolstering break, physical attack, speed up. 
Yeah, let's get rid of incidental attack. Life in the shadows. That is beautiful. Alrighty. Well, um, I was gonna try to do a little bit more today, but I think it's good to go ahead and end there. We did a pretty good amount of stuff, so... Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Octopath Traveler 2, and I'll see you next time for some more.